You realize that now the word powerful is permanently affixed to your name because every news story about a Ways and Means chairman says the powerful Ways and Means chairman. Well, it does, but it always affixes to the title. And I think in the day it's powerful because it can do big things. That's what the committee is all about. You are literally a Chamber of Commerce Republican. Tell me what is the place for Chamber of Commerce Republicans in this party? I've spent my whole life before coming to Congress as a Chamber of Commerce manager. What that means is you help start small businesses, help them grow in good times and in bad. What do you make of this populist brush fire that we've got in the Republican Party that says, Exim Bank, no, that's, that's not helping us export. That's special favors for business. Trade deals, no, that's, that's special deals cut by these businesses to help them at the expense of average workers. You know, I think people are so frustrated by the last eight years of this administration. Uh, they're striking out, frankly, at just about everything just out of frustration. Including fellow Republicans. Well, they are. Uh, and I think this will pass because the truth is with the right president in the White House actually unifying this country and focusing on what we need to do better, which is to create jobs along Main Street, give people opportunities, you know, I think we have a chance to turn that around. Every economist I talk to says, yeah, if we could get to a consumption-based system rather than an income-based system, it would be good for economic growth, but you can't get there. Do you agree with that? Here's my thinking. Since tax reform only occurs once a generation, let's not tweak what we have and call it a day. Your Texas colleague, Ted Cruz, has got a business consumption tax. Some people call it a, an equivalent of value-added tax. Do you like that approach? You know, um, there's real merit to, those, to that approach, and there's real merit to, to almost every tax plan our presidential nominees have put together. And so what we're hopeful in the House is to bring out our blueprint later this year on what our principles in pro-growth tax reform would look like. It's going to have elements that have been raised in those presidential um, uh, uh, policy positions. Dave Camp went through a process, came up with a plan, which you kind of like. Dave Camp, in my view, made tax reform inevitable in the sense that, that he showed you could broaden the base and lower the rates and simplify the code and be competitive around the world and make it more understandable. Let me stop so, you on that. You say he made it inevitable. Some people say he showed it was impossible because he laid it out and his own caucus shot it down in about five minutes. Well, it didn't, in my view. In fact, I don't think it got the, the auction it deserved at the time. John Boehner said blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> but Paul Ryan is all green light thinking on tax reform. Do you agree, by the way, that tax reform can only be done with buy-in from both parties? You know, I think at the end of the day, it will be bipartisan. Maybe not at every step in the process sure. as we lay this out, but at the end of the day, the major changes in American government almost always require buy-in from both parties. Could you see, envision a tax uh, reform that you could go along with that had many elements that you liked that did not decrease the top rate? That'd be difficult um, to accept because I think that holds back investment, both by businesses, small businesses, and by families. Because there are some well, conservatives who are arguing that in the environment that we're in now, that conservative tax reformers ought to focus on things other than the top rate. I'd have to disagree, and here's why. Uh, besides businesses investing, when individuals, after they make that dollar, they have three choices. They can spend it, they can save it, which is good as well, but they can reinvest it back in the economy. Mm -hmm. And earners, not just, not just high earners, all along the scale do that. I want to encourage families and individuals to, can do, to do more of that. And so on that side of the ledger, let's look at those pro-growth mm -hmm. ideas. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.